Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Office Arcade. Uh, something I've seen coming up in a lot of uh, threads uh, in you know Street Fighter 2 and some other uh, you know Street Fighter games is how difficult uh, Zangief's SPD is. Uh, and there are, just like the Dragon Punch, kind of two variants, like a more forgiving variant from Street Fighter V and a less forgiving variant from Street Fighter II. So what I wanted to do was, just like the Dragon Punch video, find a simplified motion that works for both, for both Street Fighter II and Street Fighter V. Uh, and I'm happy to say that I managed to find it. So I'm going to share what that motion is with you guys, and then I'm going to show you some footage of me executing that motion in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5 on both sides of the opponent. Alright, so here we are uh, back on the old uh, whiteboard. So here, just a reminder, is our square gate for reference. So with the uh, SPD motion, it's, it's usually depicted as a full 360, right? And a lot of people have kind of figured out how to buffer that with jabs or jump in so like you would jump in do the full 360 and go for it but even then it's a super hard move to execute and it can be a little bit inconsistent like if you just try to execute from neutral a lot of times you'll get a jump back a neutral jump or a forward jump uh, out of it i want to have a consistent spd motion that i could use for zangief and t-hawk in super turbo but then also use it in in Street Fighter V still, so that I can have really consistent execution across both games. So I started, uh, you know, trying different things, and in Street Fighter V, uh, you can actually get away with a half circle that finishes in diagonal position, right? So in Street Fighter V, you can go half circle and then up to a diagonal, and you'll get your SPD, right? But that does not work in Street Fighter II. So so you can't do that. So in Street Fighter 2, you kind of, everyone thinks you have to do this full circle motion, or at least a lot of videos I've seen just recommend the full circle motion. Uh, and then in, in Street Fighter 5, you have this more forgiving, uh, you know, half circle that finishes in a corner. So what I did is I started just experimenting a lot uh, in Street Fighter 2 to see like which pieces of this movement I could potentially cut out uh, while in neutral to just get a quick SPD in neutral. Um, and what I ended up getting to work was a, so I, I start in back position and I start a half circle, but then I go down to the corner here. So that's step one of the movement that I came up with. Then I use my thumb to push up into neutral jump. Right, and then that's where my motion ends. And this is, this is where I hit my punch button. And then I get an SPD. So finding this was actually really cool um, because it even trims motion off of this version from Street Fighter V. So it's literally just start and back, do start a half circle and finish it in the corner and then use your thumb to push up into top middle. And this works in, so that's your step two here. Um, so this works in Street Fighter II and Street Fighter V. So what this motion would look like is kind of down into the corner and straight up. So it looks very, very different from, you know, the conventional Street Fighter II motion and then the Street Fighter V motion. Uh, and this one works in both. So for those of you struggling with SPD or struggling to do a fast enough SPD to link, uh, this works for me every time. And the cool thing is, uh, in the Dragon Punch video, I kind of talk about how you Dragon Punch in both directions, like how that jiggle kind of feels. Here with SPD, since it's a 360, this works in both directions. So you can be on either side of the screen and do this exact same motion, or use your thumb to finish that neutral jump motion, and you'll get your SPD uh, both ways. I tried doing it the other way, but kind of pushing from here up uh, on, a, on, a, on a fight stick was a little bit tricky for me. I wasn't consistent. So this just felt better for me is, is starting, uh, uh, you know, left down into the bottom right corner and then using my thumb to quickly push that neutral jump while hitting the uh, punch button. So, so then the, the way this input ends up looking is just that. 
that'll get you an SPD in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 5. Uh, and now I'm going to share a little bit of footage of me using that motion in both games to get SPDs. All right, so hopefully you guys found that video helpful. Start experimenting with that technique. Let me know what kind of results you guys get. Uh, and hopefully this will just kind of open up Zangief and, and T-Hawk to uh, some, some players that found them inaccessible before.